You guys, it's not about never being in your masculine. We need both. It's about catching and course correcting, catching and course correcting, especially when you are dating and dealing with men that you are intimate with. That is when you have to be very conscious of the internal momentum you have going and the energy that you are putting out. Hey guys, I'm Angela Jean, and if you are new to my channel, I teach step-by-step -step methods how to stay in your feminine energy so that you can attract and receive the life that you desire. Everything that you're trying to manifest is already here, but it's knocking on a closed door because so many of us are trapped in our masculine energy. Without the feminine energy, we cannot receive Okay, so in this video, you guys, I am gonna share with you two powerful ways to catch and redirect your internal momentum, to catch and redirect your masculine back into your feminine energy. We're gonna go ahead and start with the first one that is communication, but the second one is the most important one, you guys, so stay tuned for that. So I created three scripts that I want you guys to download down below. It's how you can communicate clearly from a place of feminine energy without having an ounce of defensiveness, without being detached, without being angry or resentful. They're very short, I want you guys to read them back to back. Feel the flow. Feel the tonality. You can feel it in your body. I want you guys to feel the difference between masculine energy and feminine energy. The way I wrote these scripts, one is very masculine, one is very defensive, one is very resentful, and the other one is not. If you want to build on healthy relationships, you guys, you have to learn how to communicate from your feminine energy. We don't have relationship problems. We have communication problems because we don't know how to convey our needs. We're so busy delegating, demanding, commanding. We can't attract the right men, and when they do come along, we aren't receptive. Because why? Because we are so heavily in our masculine, they run the other way. All right, guys, drum roll. If you are attracting men that love, bomb that don't follow through that ghosts that talk out both sides of their mouth guess what guys we attract what we are it means that you like me have an internal battle about love and this is what I identified I sat down and I was like holy shit to me I said I wanted love but in my mind you have no secrets from yourself I always say this in my mind love meant canceling my Pilates classes, lugging my shit back and forth to his place, and completely revolving my life around someone else's schedule. So even though the current me was saying I wanted love, deep down I had this resentment of what I believed relationships required. You guys, and because of that belief, I kept attracting men that were mirroring my internal struggles. Do you see the patterns here and how they connect? So until your internal beliefs align with what you truly, truly want, you're gonna keep attracting partners and relationships that reflect all of your unresolved patterns. And this kind of internal conflict is so common, you guys, which is why so many men and women attract people who reflect the same struggles. You guys, you're constantly redirecting, connecting, redirecting, connecting, redirecting, training the momentum of your energy, training the momentum of your mind. It's constant, you guys. You have to train to get good at it because closing that gap between the time it takes for you to redirect, eventually will become seamless. If you guys found this video helpful, you will love my playlist of one minute rhythmic affirmations that were designed to sculpt your mindset about love. When you repeat these affirmations consistently, I promise you, you will begin to notice a shift. You will hit an intersection in your mind on how you think and how you feel about love and relationships. It will plant the seed and the seed will start to grow. How? Because you continue to feed the garden of your mind and your beliefs about love love rhythmic patterns of change. I am Angela Jean. Hopefully this was helpful and I will see you guys next week.